So, you've been thinking about upgrading to a new mouse? Well, if so, I think I got one for you. So this is the Mazer Monster of Destiny, E-Blue. This is a Chinese manufacturer, at least I think. I can't read Chinese, but it's a really good mouse. I was attracted to it as soon as I saw it. It just fit my personality. So if you ever find yourself searching the internet like eBay or maybe even Amazon for a new mouse because you want to upgrade your equipment, well, you're going to run into this Mazer. Not Razer, it's Mazer. I know, very close, actually looks almost identical to the mouse, but nonetheless, this mouse is excellent. And I came across it and I wanted to purchase it. It's got a great price. The price is only $24.99. You can get it cheaper. This is the wireless version. So this mouse was advertised mainly as a gaming mouse. I don't do much gaming on PC. So the main reason I actually purchased this was for video editing. So the mouse that I had before, it was okay. It was pretty decent. I actually enjoyed it. It was quite small in my hands, so I needed something a little bit bigger. Now, I can palm a basketball, so this actually fits really good in my hand. But that doesn't mean you're going to be overwhelmed. This mouse is pretty good size. I think it fits anyone. Large hands, small hands, the buttons are placed very well. So let's get on with this. Now, this takes two AA batteries. I've used this for about a week and haven't had any issues with batteries dying on me. And it gives you a couple of different features. First, and I think very important, it has the DBI setting from 500, 1000, 1800, 2500. Those are very important for getting really accurate pinpoint cut. This also sports two side buttons well placed right where your thumb will be that allows you to go back or forward a page. It also has the on and off and on light switch, which is good to help preserve the battery. And speaking of that light, Let's take a look on what it looks like in the dark. That's where you're going to get the best representation of what this thing looks like with the blue accent features. So all in all, I gotta say, this feels really good in my hand. The build quality is excellent. I'm really impressed just taking it out of the box and putting it in my hands and getting a feel for the way this thing really works. So would I recommend this to you guys? I definitely would. I feel I could put my name behind this because for the week that I've had it, it's worked excellently. I mean, making this video, using it, was a different feel from my previous mouse. So I'm quite pleased with it. So guys, I hope this really helped you. And if it did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button because it lets me know that you guys want to see more videos like this. And if you haven't already and you want to, please subscribe. Well, until next time, I'll see you around.